Welcome to Monday, I'm Justin. And I'm Greg. Greg, you got a little sun this weekend. Check it out, everyone. Wow. Uh, yeah, that happened. That uh, looks painful. I like that tennis band is light. Yeah, mine, I've definitely got the sunglasses tan. If I were to put these back on, I'd probably look at least an even shade for the camera. Yeah, it's still red, though. Yeah, still red. So today we were getting into a big discussion, heated kind of, where I was saying, hey, the world be crazy. No, and it's just the media. The and media spins and tries to fill us full of fear. That's why I don't watch the news about how terrible humanity is when it's the same four people. They just change their names all the time. They're always the characters in the story. It's probably not even real. Yeah, if you look real close, you can see a tinfoil hat on Justin. No. Yeah, it's there, definitely there. So what I decided to do was go on the internet and find five-ish verifiable, reputable sources, real headlines, real headlines of things that actually happened in the world to prove to him the world is crazy. And I'm going to show Greg how you read through the news headlines and get to the truth and push all that fear and negativity out of the way and find out the good that is in humanity. And I can do that with any headline, guaranteed. Ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Bring it. All right. And again, just to clarify, these are all real headlines. You can Google them yourself and they will come up on the internet. You can see the source. They actually happen. Fake news! Dozens of Israelis stand up for friends Ross Geller in a Tel Aviv protest. So they're outside protesting for Ross Geller? Yes, on his behalf. I mean, Friends is one of the all-time greats. Greatest shows on television. Ross Geller is one of the worst characters on TV. 15 years ago, in 2017, you're gonna have your friends waste their life protesting on behalf of Ross Geller in Israel of all places. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of symbolize, symbolism? Symbolism behind Ross Geller that I believe people there could really relate to about their lives. So it's not really about friends or Ross Geller or how much time they're wasting protesting a fictional character. It's more about what they believe to be true about themselves. And I get it, and they're friends. Do you actually like believe yourself when you talk? Yeah. Don't you get it? It's a symbolism. They have 24 hours in their day and they decided to protest Ross Geller. Well, for him or against him? For. Yeah. Which is more egregious. No, he's an underdog. Anyway, moving on. Fine. Okay, so there's an airline in Southeast Asia, I believe it's Vietnamese Airlines, who released a memo to the media that says, airline promises staff they will be fully clothed. Fully clothed. Yeah, so if you're, As a, you're on this airline, they promise you that their staff are fully clothed. Okay, okay, well, like, what do they mean by fully clothed? Like wearing... Clothes. No, but like I think what they're trying to say is there's probably some other airlines who, you know, sex sells and maybe they're wearing some like lower cut shirts or, you know, maybe they've dropped the, the pantyhose or something. I don't know. And they're making sure that our airline flight attendants are going to be fully clothed, like completely modest to make nobody uncomfortable. Oh, actually, you make a good point because the last time I was on WestJet, no, you're an idiot. No, I mean, it... I mean, I, I haven't personally been on air, any airlines where they've been scantily clad, but they could be out there. Virgin they Airlines, I don't know, they do wild things. Maybe they're like... They could be out there. Yeah. Well, I mean... All right, whatever. I got more. It's possible. Number three. A Waterloo police officer, this is in her backyard in Canada, mm -hmm. was arrested for the fourth time this year. It ain't even September. Four times he's been arrested. Still has the job. Well, so like once every two months? Ish. Uh, He's a cop! Was he proven guilty? I don't care. If you broke the law four times? No, innocent until proven guilty. And just because he was arrested doesn't mean that he's guilty. Or, 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 maybe it's just like a funny joke in the precinct. They arrest each other and he's the new guy and it's part of their hazing ritual and they've arrested him four times for fun. Funny, I read the story. No, he was arrested four times for breaking the law. Yeah. I, I mean, the again, crazy. innocent until proven guilty. You can't just believe just because somebody was arrested that they're guilty. I could arrest you. Citizen arrest. I'm arresting you right now. You're guilty. Well, we don't know that. I shake my head at you. Do you have any handcuffs? Okay. Uh, how about this one? Again. These are all real. Survey says most young British people think filibustering is a sex act. Like filibustering where people just like keep talking on and on and on? Yeah, like in the government. Um, 
I, I blame Urban Dictionary because Urban Dictionary has made every normal word 17 different ways dirty. Like, you know, like you're like, hey, like, do you want to go get a sandwich this weekend? And they're like, did you say sandwich? I'm like, yeah, a, a sandwich. And then I find out it's got all, you, you are always inviting people over to Netflix and chill. I love Netflix. That's not what that means. Yeah, it is. Come over, chill out, and watch Netflix with me. Happens all the time. You need to go look up the definition of Netflix and chill. We've talked about this. You can't invite people to do that. Same thing with filibustering. They I just, did. They don't know. I called Webster and I called You're Miriam. proving my point right now. Filibustering, it, it sounds 